Hi, I'm Amy. And I'm Vestas. And we are so excited that you're joining us today to talk about the fruit of the spirit. Oh, oh yes, yes, and I came prepared. Hold on one minute. Okay. okay. Wait, what? Fruit party! That's fun, Vestos. But did you know that the fruit of the spirit isn't like the fruit on your head? What, what do you mean? Well, when we follow Jesus, the Holy Spirit works to make us more like Jesus. Then we start having the fruit of the Spirit. It's things like love, joy, and peace. Oh, uh, I see. So it's not watermelon half fruits. Okay, I will turn it again. Hold on one second. While we wait for Bestus to come back, let's worship God by singing and dancing. So everyone stand up and let's sing a song to God. This song is called Let It Shine. You guys, we're gonna start by clapping our hands. You ready? Here we go. All right, now this song is all about how we can shine our light for Jesus. You guys, Jesus loves you so much, and we can show the world how much we love him when we shine our light. Let's sing. Our light is from you. Sing it out. Our light is from you. Together we won't hide when we're living as it gets up light. Sing, your light is ever brighter. Your light is ever brighter. Jesus, shine through us so we can forever shine on everyone around us. Sing, shine your light. Put your hand up. You are our Savior, who rescued us from the darkness that was our sin. Our light is from you. Our light is from you. Together we won't hide when we're living as it gets up light. Your light is ever brighter. Sing it out. Your light is ever brighter. Jesus, shine through us so we can forever shine on everyone Shine your light, here we go. Shine your light, light, light. Make it bright, bright, bright. For all the world to see. You are the light in me. Don't let it hide, hide, hide. Let it shine, shine, shine. For all the world to see. You are the light in me. Gonna stand out like a city on a hill. Where all can see that Jesus, you are the light in me. All right, we're gonna sing that out again. Let me hear ya. Let's go. We're gonna stand out like a city on a hill. Where all can see that Jesus, you are the light in me. All right, sing out, shine your light really loud. singing that song. That was great. You can all sit down now. Da, 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 hey, da, 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 hey. Yes, I love the singing and the dancing. Uh, Bestos, what is that? Well, you said that the fruits of the spirit were not like the watermelon on my head. So I got many fruits on my head. Is that better? Well, um, I mean, I really like your hat. I do, but the thing is, the fruit of the Spirit is not like any fruit that you put on your head. Oh, what, is it the fruit that you put on your toes? You don't put the fruit of the Spirit on your toes either. 
Hmm, this is a pretty tricky fruit. You know, I got an idea, Bestos. Let's watch our Bible story and see if we can learn about the fruit of the Spirit through that. Oh, okay, I love the Bible stories. Me too. So friends, let's put on our listening ears. Got them? And our thinking caps. Okay, hold on, I gotta check out my fruit hat first. Okay. Got it. And let's watch our Bible story. Bananas! Slapstick Theater. Paul's letter about self-control. This is Paul. Oh, hey. Who told people about Jesus in lots of different places. Yeah. Paul also wrote letters to the different churches that he had visited while he was away from them. In Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, he wrote to them about discipline. Hmm. He said, don't you realize that in a race everyone runs, but only one person gets the prize? Woohoo! So run to win. All athletes are disciplined in their training. They do it to win a prize that will fade away. Woohoo! But we do it for an eternal prize. Huh? So I run with purpose in every step. I'm not just shadow boxing. I discipline my body like an athlete, training it to do what it should. Otherwise, I fear that after preaching to others, I myself might be disqualified. Paul wrote many more things to the Corinthians in his letters to encourage them and help to keep them on track as they learned more about God. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Do you get it now? Yes, I do. I'll show you. Hold on. Okay. Bestos, what is that? It's a happy avocado. And why did you bring that? Because I get it. The fruit of the spirit isn't real fruit. It's happy fruit. Yay! I think we have some more to learn still. Okay. Do you want to hear our Bible verse? Oh, yes, yes. What about you, happy avocado? Do you want to hear it? He says yes. Great. Our Bible verse is Galatians 5, 22 through 23. Okay, let's hear it. The Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. That's a lot of fruits, huh, happy avocado? Yes, and I know this song that's all about the fruit of the Spirit. Let's sing it. Oh, yay, and my happy avocado will sing too. Sounds good. Let's all stand up. And sing the songs. This song's called The Fruit of the Spirit. Let's clap our hands like this. We're gonna sing this song that's all about the fruit of the Spirit that God works in us. We're gonna start by singing when my neighbor feels sad, tired, or confused. Okay, so let's sing it out together. Here we go. When my neighbor looks sad, tired, or confused, when a friend is mad, said something rude God gave us some seeds that can grow into fruit a life full of love grace and truth I got love, joy, peace Good job, let's sing patience Patience, kindness, goodness Alright, you guys sing faithfulness Faithfulness, gentleness and self-control God's love shown to all the world Good job, you guys. All right, let's clap our hands again. And we're going to sing that all over when my neighbor looks sad, tired, or confused. Okay, here we go. When my neighbor looks sad, tired, or confused. When a friend is mad or said something rude. God gave us some seeds that can grow into fruit. A life full of love, grace, and truth. I got love, joy, peace. Nice job, you guys. Let's sing together. Patience, kindness, goodness. All right, sing faithfulness. Faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. God's love shown to all the world. That God love, joy, peace. Sing out patience. Patience, kindness, goodness. All right, you guys, sing out really loud. Faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. God's love shown to all the world. All right, you guys, let's clap our hands like this again. We are singing about the fruit of the Spirit. Now, the fruit of the Spirit is what God works in us when we know Him. And you guys, we're going to sing, I got the fruit of the Spirit. 
Spirit because we know and we know Jesus that we have it, okay? So let's sing it out really loud. Here we go. I got the fruit of the Spirit. Sing that out again. Yeah, the fruit of the Spirit. As loud as you can. I got the fruit of the Spirit. Let me hear some yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sing out, I got love. I got love, joy, peace. Good job. Let's sing patience. Patience, kindness, goodness. Awesome job, you guys. Let me hear ya. Faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. God's love shown to all the world. I got love, joy, peace. Good job, you guys. Sing patience. Patience, kindness, goodness. All right, sing faithfulness. Faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. God's love shown to all the world. God's love shown to all the world. Great singing and dancing. You can all sit down. That means you do have avocados. Did you learn anything about the fruit of the spirit, Bestos? Oh, yes I did. And I have another thing to show you. Hold on. Okay, let's see what it is this time. Cool pineapple guy. And how does that make you think about the fruit of the spirit? Well, he is a fruit and he is cool. And you see, he wears sunglasses and it is cool when you have the fruit of the spirit. Well, okay, that actually seems like you're starting to learn something. Pizzas! What? Okay, I have one more idea. Let's go to Scuffington Farms. Oh, yes, yes, I love the momos and the cluck clucks. We'll meet up with a few of the Scuppets who are learning about the fruit of the spirit. So let's put on our listening ears. And our watermelon caps. He means thinking caps. Yes! And let's watch Scuppets at the Farm. <laughs> oh, wow! That smells amazing! What, what's that? Peach jam. Do you want to try some? Yes, please! Mm, wow! That tastes like mm, sunshine and, oh, and summer and oh, it's my favorite thing ever! Well, do you want to help me can these? We're going to take them over to the farmer's market. Sure! How do we do this? Well, I'm going to pour the jam into the jars Go and on. then we seal it up like this. Oh, okay. Well, then what's next? Well, I have one more step in the kitchen to make sure they're perfectly sealed. But after that, we're all done. Oh, well, I can do that. I love making peach jam, but it takes a lot of self-control not to eat all the jam. Oh, but what is self-control? Well, self-control is a fruit of the spirit. Can you make a fruit of the spirit jam? That sounds like it would be so delicious. <laughs> no, the fruit of the spirit isn't like the fruit we make jam from. Oh, well, then what's it like? Well, when we follow Jesus, the Holy Spirit works to make us more like Jesus. Then we start having things like the fruit of the Spirit. Oh, oh, I think I get it, but um, I still don't get what self-control is. Is it like, uh, like a remote control for myself? <laughs> no. To have self-control means you have control over your thoughts and feelings and actions. So, like, um, well, I might want to just eat all this peach jam, but if I have self-control, I can stop myself. Exactly. Just remember, we always have control over our thoughts, feelings, and actions. Oh, I guess you're right. I'm going to go ahead and take these over to the kitchen. Can you watch over the jam for me? Oh, sure. Thanks, Zara. Oh, I can do this. I, I have self-control. Uh, I want to eat it! Uh, wait, wait. Self-control means I can stop. I have control over what I do. Did you eat all the jam? No, no. I had self-control. Good job, Zara. You waited. And I'm going to give you a reward. <gasps> really? Yep. Here's a cookie with jam on. Mm. Mm. Uh, whoa! That's even more amazing than the jam! Right? Now let's finish up with this jam and share it with others. Oh, oh yeah! <laughs> I'm so glad I had self-control and didn't eat it all. Everyone in Scuppeton needs to try this. Yay! That 
was so much fun! It sure was. I learned so much about the fruit of the spirit. What about you, Bestos? Oh, oh, yes, I did, I did. And I have one more thing to show you. Hold on. Ta-da! Bestos, where's the fruit? <laughs> Miss Amy's? The fruit of the spirit is not real fruit. Whoa! You actually learn that the fruit of the Spirit is something that the Holy Spirit works to make in our lives. It's things like love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control! Wow, Bestos, nice job! Thank you, Mango. It's Amy. That's what I said. Okay. Well, friends, remember that the Holy Spirit works so that you can have the fruit of the Spirit. God loves you so much. And so do we, grapes! We'll see you next time. Bye-bye, strawberries!